Okay, in this lesson we are going to be working with dates. So let's see what actually we can do with dates. I'm going to remove this table, we don't need this. I'm going to insert new table, click on add a chart, table, place it here. And now instead of channel, I'm going to choose this time order date. And instead of this record count for metrics, I'm going to choose sales. Ok, perfect. Now we are able to see total sales. Let me resize this. Total sales for each of these dates. So basically we are able to see for this 5th August we had this sales value and so on. But now let's see what options we have to present our dates. If I go to this dimension box, we have this order date column that we included. And if I click on this edit button here, I'll be able to see this box here. So, we are able to provide name for this column, instead of order date we could pick some other name, and we have this data type option. If I click on this, if I go to this date and time option, I will be able to see multiple options here. So, let's see what we can present. For example, instead of each day, we are able to present sales for each year. So, let's see how it will look like. Basically, we will present for each of these years, total sales. Now we are sorting by this sales column, but let's try to sort it by this order date column. If I click on that, I'll be able to sort it by year descending. Also, we have other options. If I go to this edit button, instead of year, I could choose for example this option, also year month. Let's try year month for example. This way we will be able to see month and then year and sales for that month. That's perfect. We have also other options. We could also present hour, minute, let's try these options also. For example, we are able to see for each of these quarters to see total sales. So let's sort them properly, one more time, and now we are able to see them sorted. So let's go back to our dimension box, let's change this, let's see what other options we have. We can also present for month, but there is of course distinction between this year month option and this just month option. Let's see if we click on that. If we click on that, we'll be able to see only months. So basically we are summing for this, for example, August month, we are summing total sales, not for one year, but for all years that we have included in our data. Instead of month, we could use some other values, for example. Let's try to use day of week, for example. This way we will be able to see, for example, for each Friday, what is the sales and so on. We can do also something else. Let's try to, instead of this, let's try to use, for example, year. If I click on year, we'll be able to see, as I said before, sales for each of these years. But let's include one more field. OK, order date. And this time I will be presenting month. Let's try month. And now we are able to see if I sort it like this, and then like this, let's try. Basically this way we will be able to see for this year, for example, for each of these months, total sales. So this is also a nice feature. So basically with this we are done with this section, and I will see you in the next one.